much for joining in to this video on building ritual and routine into your day. So my name is Avi Yamasaki. I am the program director of Trauma-Informed Programs in UCLA's Resilience in Your Student Experience Center, also known as RISE. So the first thing that I want to share is just being really intentional with your time right now. I know that everything that's happening in the world is really forcing us to navigate some uncharted territory. We've never dealt with something like this. And so all of us are really being required to tap into these inner states of resilience that already reside within our bodies, but sometimes we need a little support with accessing them. So one thing that's been really supportive for me lately is thinking about how I build ritual and routine into my day. Um, my husband is a photographer and a volleyball coach, so unfortunately he's not able to work right now. I am really grateful to have the opportunity to continue my work from home at the moment. Um, we also have a two-year-old, so it requires a lot of communication and a lot of sort of navigating space and thinking about not only how are all of us doing our part to chip in, but how are we also finding time for ourselves and our work amidst it all. So in the mornings, I encourage you to still try to wake up at a, a similar time. I know without having classes or meetings or events or gatherings to go to really being in the hustle and bustle of campus. We're so used to that. We're, we're actually really used to living in a sympathetic dominant world where we're constantly on the go and really running from one thing to the next. So this is your opportunity to really slow down and think about how do you want to bring intention into your day? So for example, you might want to wake up and before even looking at your phone or checking social media or checking email, start to maybe journal some intentions for your day. What are you hoping to really integrate as a theme throughout your day? Maybe it's that you want to experience peace or ease, or maybe it's that you want to be really productive, or perhaps you are working through some fears or anxiety that's coming up for you. So what are some ways that you want to set your intention for the day? You could set the intention to yourself. You could write it down. Maybe you want to take a few moments in your bed to stretch, maybe even interlacing the palms overhead like you're taking your first morning stretch or circling out your fingers or your wrists or bringing some movement into your shoulders. So maybe just take a few moments to stretch in your bed before doing anything else. If you were a coffee or tea drinker, I'm a big coffee person, so um, I really like to have just mindful moments with my coffee. I do my best to wake up before my son and my husband so I can have a few moments to myself. So what does that look like for you as you start your day, as you begin your day to really put yourself in that space of um, being able to, to really anchor yourself in intention? I find that it's helpful for me to also spend some time in the morning. I try to do this the night before if I can, but sometimes I'm exhausted because my two-year-old Hudson definitely keeps me on my toes. Um, but really trying to declutter my space when I'm trying to work or if you're trying to do schoolwork or set some structure for yourself, really create a space within your apartment or your dorm that you can kind of set up where you can open up the window, you can have a clear working space. Oftentimes that contributes to just having more ease in your mind if you're able to work in a space that feels really open and comfortable to you. So think about really what your workspace looks like. And also, how are you taking breaks throughout your day? It can actually be really easy to work a lot more than we're used to because we don't have the distractions of other meetings or other obligations or really the commute of trying to get from one place to the next. So I want to invite you to be intentional about <coughs> 
<coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I want to invite you to be intentional about really blocking off that time in your day where you're able to take those breaks for yourself. Maybe it's taking your dog for a walk around the block, or maybe it's just getting outside to get some fresh air. Maybe it's doing a yoga video online. Um, maybe it is taking a moment to FaceTime with friends or family. So how are you still finding ways to nurture yourself, to get some fresh air, to tend to your mental health, and maybe find those opportunities to connect with your community in ways that feel right for you. Um, and also just, you know, really think about how important your time is, how valuable your time is, and create a structure and schedule for you. Maybe even taking time to meal plan the night before so you can wake up and have a sense of what you're gonna be eating that day and how you're gonna be integrating those breaks. Um, you deserve to have some stabilization and routine, you know, in a fact that's actually really stabilizing for the nervous system to have routine, especially during this moment in our world where none of us have navigated this and every day is changing and we're getting new information. And so anything that we can do to really ground and um, to be honest with ourselves about what our needs are and, and to be compassionate with ourselves as we recognize that our needs are constantly changing. So I wish you so much support and sending you an abundance of care as we navigate this time together. I just want to remind you that you are not alone in this, that the RISE Center is here to support you and just sending you so much support as you create a schedule and routine and ritual that works for you. Don't forget to take care of yourselves, to lean into community care, um, you know, to, to really acknowledge that even though right now we're being asked to be physically separate, there is still so much that we can do to feel very connected to one another during this time. Thank you so much and take care and please feel free to reach out to us if you need anything.